Everything's in a circle here. Mm -hmm. All right. So you don't tell nobody if you get lost because it's so tiny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, hi vlog. Hi, it is sunny today. It is super sunny. Where are we at right now? Matompkin. Matompkin, and we're going to check out their crab operation here. Yep. I'm Come excited. on, let's go check it out. <laughs> we're also here with Kim Lawson, who I know is not a fan of being on camera particularly. Uh -huh. At least you haven't shown any emphasis of wanting to have a career in acting <laughs> to, coming to up. Di to dying to get in front of the screen, that's exactly <laughs> right. Uh, but he's also the former mayor of Crisfield. That is correct. He's, huh? he's not the old mayor, he's not, the young mayor. Not the mayor. old old mayor, but the old old man. <laughs> there we go, that's what we are. Um, I guess uh, one, uh, you know, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, so I know nothing about crab, and I know a lot of people that are going to be watching this probably know nothing about it either, but How's this whole operation work? And I know this is different than other crab operations, I guess, maybe in town. Um, in a way, I mean, most of them are kind of similar. It's really a processing plant. Mm -hmm. So basically the watermen will go out. I don't know, you can probably look over there later when you leave. The, the uh, floats that they have, they'll catch what's called a peeler. Each float has a pump out to the salt water, brings in, flushes out salt water, give them oxygen so they can sit there and still live and then it gives them time to shed the crab. Yeah. So they'll have family members of themselves, depending on how busy it is, come down. They'll, when they see it peel, they'll pick out the salt crab and they'll bring it in here. We'll go through them first, pick all the live ones out, sell them live, take all the dead ones to her. So we'll go through, wash, wash all, any, some of them got good head hay on them, anything, wash the dead stuff off of them, store them as well, and then still shoot them down. And these guys clean them right here. They'll cut off the eyes, they'll cut off the dead man's fingers, this is what they used to breathe, and they'll cut off their backs. These girls wrap them in individual cellophane paper, so it's one, one crab, one piece of paper. Put it in a box, weigh it up depending on the size, and they'll shoot it, shoot it on down, and he'll weigh it up, make sure it's right. He'll put it on a rack, and we'll freeze them on racks overnight. Freezer back there is probably like negative 15. Oh so wow. It'll, it'll freeze overnight, really. Now I notice when you're handling these, they're pretty docile and they're not like snapping. Is it just no. because they've already been caught, or well, they're they... soft? They can't, they can't really do nothing to you. They're very timid because they can't. They know they can't do anything. They're very soft. They got no strength. They can't even really lift their claw up. Oh. Honestly, I did not predict this happening. Monica's gonna hold one. Oh God! Don't you dare back up for me. <laughs> you want to hold it up for the camera? Many chefs, many seafood markets want to receive a crab from Matompkin Bay, reputable reputation that is still alive and wiggling. The straw is just to keep them from shifting around and to hold the moisture. It's a piece of parchment paper with a little bit of ice sprinkled on it. Yeah, they got a letter on the side. And what is the letter? P. That's a prime. Hotel primes. Unless your lens will probably freeze up. Yeah. Maybe uh, yeah. again, that's cool. Woo! That's like not Negative 11. Yeah, that's not freezing. That is <laughs> Arctic. Well, I'll be honest. That place smelled like my worst nightmares. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't like straight up deadness, but it did, definitely had. I. Ugh. I feel like we need to like get on a crabbing boat now just to see that part of the experience. Yeah, that would be awesome. These these cheap nose trimmers, you gotta like circulate in a million directions. <laughs> it's getting hot. I mean, I should be more adamant about it. I always tell you like, damn, your nose Listen, hair, but. We're humans. I'm hairy. I'm sorry. I really can't begin to tell everyone how exactly exhausted I am and we haven't even started this day of adventuring really. We have a long day out of us. We're going to Tylerton. Yeah, things are just absolutely strange as hell right now, but <laughs> uh, you know, this is just spontaneous bus life combustion going on right now. <laughs> and uh, so we've got ourselves a boat, we've got ourselves a bed and breakfast. We're gonna show you everything. Next time uh, you see us, we're probably gonna be on the water. Yeah. This is crazy. Look at this thing. Oh my god. 
bags, and then he's got a bunch of supplies. See, we could totally Coming renovate over. this area into a tiny house. Oh, hell yeah. This like, is bigger than our You bus. don't even need an undercab area. Yeah. Hi! All right. Are we getting a ride? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's kind. Yeah. What service? I'm assuming you want to film in the store with the crab cakes and stuff. We definitely yeah, want to I'd get love that to. for sure. Okay, so here's what I'm going to suggest. You can do what you want. I'm going to take you around where you stay. Everything's in a circle here. Uh -huh. All right. So you don't tell nobody if you get lost because it's so tiny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get out of line here. Come back to where the water is. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to suggest to you is to take your stuff to your house. Uh -huh. uh, and from there, I'll take you to the store because the store closes at 3. And they All right. And you and they keep a tight schedule. Okay. okay. Ready for a crab cake? All right. We're at Drum Point Market. This is the uh, only grocery store and also where you get their famous crab cake sandwich here. Should you go by Missy? Yes. Okay, great. This is Missy, everyone. <laughs> she is going to be taking us on the experience of a lifetime <laughs> here at Drum Point Market. This is their oh so famous crab cake sandwich. And sixth best in the world. It, it was voted country. sixth best <laughs> in the world by someone. I don't fucking know. But or the country. To I don't me, know. <laughs> this looks like the best a crab sandwich can get. This Baseball isn't, size. This isn't a crab cake. This is a crab softball. <laughs> it is. I, I just like, I don't even want to eat it. I just want to like be with it. <laughs> I want to see you make a different face than you make every other time. Whoa. This is definitely on my top 10 list of things I've ever eaten before. So this is where we're staying. Uh, this is the, what does it say, Long Branch? This is the Long Branch residence. You can actually rent this uh, through Airbnb if you look up Tylerton. Yeah, we're definitely not roughing it here. This. Uh, is adequately pumping AC everywhere. It feels great in here. This house is larger than the homes I grew up in. <laughs> it's pretty huge. Cole's just saying how crazy it is that everything in here was brought to this island. <laughs> yeah, like someone was like, oh, I want this fucking goose to be on this island that's an hour away by boat. <laughs> I think it's really funny that there's no vehicles here. I've seen one car that looks like it's been here for 80 years. I haven't seen that. Yeah, it was overgrown with plants. Those are beautiful. I hope she beat us to it. <laughs> she did. They do a tank tour and ask people different questions so so kind of what are you well i'll ask some questions so what do yeah. you have a feel for what are you trying to do you know for us like you know with the vlogging and the youtubing like 
uh, what it's really about is kind of just like documenting your own experience that you're having, you know? So with like television and other things, you know, they're like, okay, let's, we're going to set up this big kitchen thing and, you know, we're going to go through the whole, whole process and this is what we're going to do where for us, it's like, you know, letting people really just see like what we're encountering and what we're doing. It's been a struggle because we're dying to 36 people now. Oh yeah. You know, so we would hope when people come to visit or stay here and all that, they would not bring so much uh, food with them that they would yeah. deal there, just like with the post office. Mm-hmm. Uh, revenues are important there with the stamp stock and all. And when Duke opened the store, we wanted a good crab cake in there. We wanted to draw a card. So I kept make, mixing up batch after batch after batch of crab meat. I'm allergic to it, so I can't oh. eat it. <laughs> and That's probably the best fact. So, yeah, so anyway, they said, they said well, whatever you've done to it, keep it that way. Yeah. So we did. And everybody seemingly enjoys them. Seemingly. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, <laughs> there are many stories, many theories about the small layer. You know, our ancestors are from uh, Cornwall in Wales, England, and they had the tort. Mm-hmm. So I'm wondering if somewhere in our background that might have surfaced. There are six ladies make some for the restaurant at Bayside Inn. That's a restaurant. Mm-hmm. The two girls that work here in the store, not Taylor, but Joan, Joan works on one day and Missy the other. And they bake the cakes for the store. Now, I can show you what one of mine, I've got four here made. You want to see one of mine? I would love in to. In comparison? Yeah. Okay. I feel like I'm really getting the behind the scenes here. You are. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, that looks In comparison? It, I mean, it just looks so much better. And, I've, I've, you know, Monica's brought home mini cakes and pastries just being, you know, from her background. And, I mean, that looks like, that looks so good. It's yours. Oh, my goodness. Who's the most annoying person on the island? <laughs> well, I don't have none. The most annoying thing is the b- uh, bugs. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Flies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we noticed that real quick. <laughs> if you want to know who was annoying, they'd say, they'd say the visitors. <laughs> Especially if they ask questions. Yeah. All right, so we're trying to get a GoPro time lapse of the whole path around the island and it's really small and believe it or not I actually took a wrong turn. <laughs> There's one side of the island that uh, kind of tails off and you can go down it for about 10 minutes but the other is just a single loop. So without going down the road that I guess kind of goes to an end point, I can't remember what they said that, that it goes to, it's only like a 10 minute walk though that road goes. The loop with taking a wrong turn took 7 minutes and 30 seconds. Is there anything you want to say? No, not really. I'm just trying to like understand where I didn't word something properly and take out anything where I'm like, oh, maybe that's like semi-factual or whatever, you know. So the thing is, is we kind of ran into a situation where apparently some people that are local here saw one of our Facebook uh, posts and interpreted it as us being negative sounding to the community or like being misleading in some way. And I think what it really comes down to is this is a really small town and I think word travels fast. I don't think there's a ton of new news that happens. So one small thing ends up getting thrown into a pond and I think there's a ripple effect that happens. So I guess if you're within the direct surrounding community of uh, Smith Island and Crisfield, I just want to be really clear that we love this area. And if you're thinking about exploring the East Coast, this should definitely be put on your travel list for sure. This is the area of the island that uh, the tide waters are coming into. You can see the standing water. Erosion may inevitably take away not only this part of the island, but possibly the whole thing at some point. Hot summer morning into middle of the day. 
It was a hot summer morning into the middle of the day. Don't feel like working, don't care what the boss man says. All right, her. Oh, lady. I do. I do want dinner. So, yeah. We did bring um, some pasta and sauce along the journey to make for dinner this evening. Uh, we supported the community by purchasing lunch here. And uh, we're going to do our own dinner because we're living in a bus. <laughs> <laughs> we're poor people. <laughs> yes. Hi. Welcome. Great time to say look at the description. Support us. Hi, good morning. Well, I guess this place is pretty decent for a sunrise. It's really coming in. Yeah. I don't know what we could do to uh, petition everyone on the island, at least Larry, uh, to move the uh, boat time to 9 a.m. instead of 7 a.m. Because we could definitely have used it another couple extra hours of sleep. But, uh... It was really nice to sleep in a house that had AC, but I think we only managed like six hours of sleep. You know they've been doing that boat ride at 7 a.m. for the last 400 years. It's probably not changing. <laughs> well, I'm just casually walking, getting the shit beaten out of by... Beaten. <laughs> eaten out of by mosquitoes right now. You gonna give me that bug spray? You just gonna give it to yourself. Oh boy, I wish you guys could have just seen the dance Monica and I just did. Again, we walked out this morning and we had like, mosquitoes just swarmed us. Smith Island has an unquestionably rich past, but does it have an equally as rich future? After just a few short days, we're leaving Smith Island again. We've now seen all three communities that make up Smith Island. And honestly, going into this, I hope to get to the bottom of Smith Island and what it's all about. I'm afraid perhaps no amount of time spent here would unravel all of its 400 years of history. Honestly, given the opportunity, I'd sit down and talk to every single resident still remaining on the island, and then hopefully explore every single attic too. Would I recommend visiting? Yes, and I'd recommend doing it soon, because we all know that the only thing constant is change in a community that once relied solely on the sea for its living, is now at the mercy of it. I really wish I had a better sentence to wrap up this whole experience. Simply put, Smith Island always left me wanting more. Especially more crab and more cake. Thank you, appreciate it. Alright, you're welcome. Have safe travels. Thank you so much, take care. We will. We just left a place that was really small, and yeah. it's like, oh, we're back in the city, but this town only has 2,600 people living in it. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is small enough. Listen, we love and appreciate Smith Island, but it's time to move on. Yes. <laughs> we gotta go. 